next statement, then we'll take questions. Leave your hand without please. Yeah, you bet. Uh, heck of a game. Lost my voice a little bit there, obviously. Uh, a lot happening there uh, all game long. So uh, a lot of energy that was uh, put out there by coaches and players and proud of the way uh, you know we played. It took four quarters. And obviously, there's some times where um, they, made a, they made a run there and uh, the second half in particular. But uh, you know, um, just uh, proud of the way our guys kept fighting, kept playing. I think we, we continue to learn every single play and grow. And you see that at the end with ZB's, uh, you know, interception. Um, just, you know, guys saw it a couple of times, uh, them throwing the ball up in the air and really just laying it up there, maybe even sometimes under throwing it and uh, just in great position. Um, that one certainly looked different with how he was playing it. You know, um, there's reasons for that, but certainly how he was playing it and um, in a position uh, where he had as good a chance to make a play on the ball as anyone and uh, did it. You know, these guys are, are fun to coach every single day because they, they're just wanting to get better, you know, and uh, highlighted Ryan, obviously, with the big play he had in the touchdown. Uh, two number twos out there, uh, two freshmen. Uh, it, was, it was fun celebrating those guys in the locker room. Our team, you know, loves the way that they, uh, they work every day. But, um, you know, tip the cap to uh, Georgia. Just uh, they're a heck of a football team, you know. Uh, we pushed each other to, you know, to the very end. So um, proud again. Can't say how proud I am of our guys. Uh, we talk about you get what you deserve, and these guys come to, to come to practice every single day. Uh, they're in the weight room. Uh, any opportunity where we're asking uh, and and asking them to do something, um, they're all over it, and they're doing it to an extremely high level. So, um, you know, we we expect to win games, you know, these games. And, you know, so of course, uh, the locker room's full of excitement. But uh, I also, you know, want to make sure that, that we understand that's the expectation. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of season left. And so I want to make sure we don't blow all our energy into uh, this win and make sure we can handle success and uh, get ready for next week. All right, thanks, Coach. We'll start on the left side with Nick Kelly. Yeah, when you have two freshmen, like you mentioned over here, Coach, yeah. uh, when you have two freshmen in a game where resolve was needed and they were the ones who provided it, I mean, what does it say about those two? Yeah, it says a lot. It says mentally that they're well ahead of their time, uh, you know, and they've, had, they've played enough snaps now, you know, to where there's a belief that not only that they have in themselves, but we all do. And we see it in practice. And, uh, the, the, you know, they're, they're playmakers. Uh, they battle. They grind. You know, there's... They were, they were they were um, you know tired played a lot of snaps each of them uh, you know a lot of running but uh, they they're they're, uh, they're true they're, you know they're true as far as what we ask uh, and grinding for quarters and need until the very end and so you know they uh, they earned that stripe down the middle of their helmet today that's for sure. Jump to the right side, Charlie. Yeah, Coach Jalen had almost 500 yards of total offense. Just what did you think of the way he played and the way he started the game? Yeah, he was, I think, exceptional. And I really, you know, I, I didn't want to jump the gun, uh, but I just really felt like the last couple of weeks, and it, it starts with the Wisconsin game where he got into a little bit of rhythm, made those plays. You know, we, we still didn't have enough opportunities really through it. I think we either threw it 17 times or something like that. Uh, but you could see him taking that step from week two to week three. Uh, the offensive line, I think, is doing a good job for the most part of really protecting him, and you know, um, and and he's thinking about you know where he's going to go with the ball. It doesn't mean he's perfect, but man, he's he's a weapon out there, and uh, you know, he's doing it both through the air and with his feet. Um, you know, he's tough to game plan against when you're on the other side. Uh, so uh, you know, when he needed to put the ball somewhere, I really felt like you know his accuracy, uh, and that goes to you know his timing, the rhythm. Uh, the confidence, the belief that he has uh, in his in his uh, receivers and whoever's catching the pass, um, and not everyone goes. Not everyone, you know. There was a couple times where we actually let him down. Uh, we let him down and didn't have uh, a couple guys run exactly what they were supposed to do. Um, and it it looks kind of fuzzy, and you're wondering what the heck's going on. And you know, uh, I, it's a credit. I felt like he just mentally he stepped kept staying the course um, and that he continues to grow in all ways, not just as a football player, uh, but as a leader as well. Let's go back over to the left side, Mike. Kirby had mentioned at halftime he hadn't seen you guys throw to empty before, and it seems like maybe you caught them off guard early in the game. How did you feel like you adjusted as the game went on and maybe they got more of a handle on that? Yeah, well, we hit the one uh, to Ryan, you know, in the third quarter. Uh, he made this kind of the circus catch. Uh, and yeah, there, we, there was more of that. I mean, we've done it, you know, throughout the season, but there was certainly a heavier dose of that. And, you know, I thought 
could, I, I really felt like when we went empty, Jalen did a good job of seeing the space, seeing the coverages. Um, and that's, that's what I love because we have a lot of playmakers out there and sometimes just getting the ball in their hands. So, um, you know, there's adjustments going back and forth. They did, they did a nice job with some things. Um, and then we had to counter back as well. Hey, Kalen, I know you've been in a lot of big games, but could you take us through the emotional roller coaster to get up by 28? And then those last few minutes when you guys were like both teams sort of trading haymakers. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when you when you face a really good football team, you know there's going to be a strong push. Uh, that's what I would expect from us if we were ever in a spot. We, we're we're going to fight till the very end. And uh, I expect our guys to go make plays. And, and sometimes when, you, you know, they're in their situation really on their heels and really just, you know, throwing it up and, um, you know, kind of that – that, that urgency that they needed to have uh, and a couple of plays go your way, those are the sparks and that's what happened. And they, they did a nice job converting on some fourth downs. You know, I think that was really the story in the second half is those fourth down calls, fourth down uh, plays. And, you know, we get one or two of those. Uh, the, really, the game is a, looks different, I think, in the second half. So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, those are the battles. You know, we know that that's what each and every week is going to be. Uh, just people are going to bring their best shot to us and uh, that's the SEC. So, uh, you know, again, proud of our guys and the way they kept responding. It, it wasn't like, oh, the next play was, or the next drive was always perfect, but we did play team football, and I thought covered for each other. We got some takeaways, you know, um, got a field goal, you know, special teams did a nice job there. Um, of course, there were some letdowns, and we can, we all saw what those, some of those were too. Got a question in the back right, Chase. Can you speak to Kendrick Law having to come out of the game and what, what his situation is? Yeah, he just got a lower, lower, lower uh, body injury. So, um, you know, I don't know where, what he'll be. It was unfortunate because I thought, thought he really had a great week or two of practice uh, and kept building too and um, putting a lot. And he was, I know, really juiced up uh, before the game. So, um, thought he was doing some good things as far as just helping our offense. It might not be things that show up on the stat sheet. So, unfortunately, he wasn't able to, to be there with us uh, throughout the whole game. Back left, Ryan. Coach, an answer like that at the end, what does that say to your team and what's your message to the team and how does that carry over now that you guys made a response at the end like that? Yeah, you know, we talked about it on Sunday. There were some games last week. Our guys had the bye week and they watched a lot of football and we talked about how, you know, there's some last second plays and, you know, you got to keep fighting and keep uh, keep playing uh, and the game, you know, with our talent uh, is going to keep coming back to us even when it feels like it's, uh, it's, it's running away from us and, uh, you know, that belief from tonight uh, is something we will certainly make sure and be intentional on remembering um, because those are the things that are going to happen again. And we're going to have to do the same thing at some point throughout the season. You know, you never know. It might be sooner than later. But um, guys being ready for when their opportunity comes. We've talked a lot about that during fall camp. I reminded them before the game. And uh, I thought guys were ready uh, when, their, when their opportunity came and uh, went and made a play. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to need. Right in the middle of the room here, Katie. You just hit on this a little bit, but what kind of leadership and composure did you see from Jalen at the end to make that play after Georgia had just taken the lead? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, he put the ball where he needed to. And I think, you know, just it's one of the areas I felt, you know, that he really improved. And he was – that throw and the location of that throw, that was intentional. Um, I really will – say that strongly because that's something that's one of the areas that we worked on. Uh, if you saw the first couple of games and where some of those fades were, were thrown and that's an improvement. And that's not just him, that's the receivers also being on the same page with him. So it doesn't always fall on Jalen's lap with some of those plays that we had early in the year. You saw Ryan catch the touchdown against Wisconsin. You know, you saw a couple of those things starting to happen. Um, and, uh, you know, we took, he took a next step. Uh, you know, guys don't always have to be wide open right now. You saw him throwing guys open and the receivers anticipating that, hey, I'm going to get the ball. And uh, that's progress in our passing game. And we can keep doing those things. Uh, you know, we're going to be, we'll be tough to defend. All right, Johnny. Hey, Coach, uh, locally we've seen Ryan for a few years now in the state, but from a national standpoint, this game is kind of his arrival. You, you mentioned the circus catch and then the, the go-ahead score at the end. Just how special of a player is he in, in those crunch time moments? Is it in the back of your mind, i got to get to the ball? 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he's involved, and and I, I still feel. I mean, I think we threw it to ten or eleven different guys today, you know. And that's that's going to be the key is that everyone still is involved, so that attention can't just solely be on him, uh, you know. And so he, he's 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 a guy. Who, there's those are some of the plays, you know, some of the ones he's had in the early part of the season. He was very open, uh, but there was reasons why he was also open. Just a subtle understanding of timing uh, and and where the ball and what the concept was, uh, where the ball was going to be thrown. Uh, but now you see some of the playmaking that I know we saw during fall camp where, you know, there are competitive catches. And that's uh, that happened a couple couple times tonight. So, uh, you know, then after, after I think the thing I'm probably more impressed with that I didn't I knew he was going to bring, but it's what he's doing after the catch, too. Uh, uh, it's not surprising, but it's it's cer certainly impressive, and when you practice every day against each other, and you have a couple scrimmages, you get a couple chances. But he's doing it over and over again, uh, getting the ball in his hands and making people miss, and you know a lot of yards after after catching, yards after contact. So um, he's a special player. Um, the most impressive thing also with that is how he just handles success, and you know, he's going to be back to work, and he's going to be the same guy on Tuesday, you know, same guy tomorrow when we show up and and do our workouts, and so. Um, you know, that's that's what I think our team really sees in him. You know, the upperclassmen, I, I know, have noticed that uh, from day one. Well, I only have time for two more questions, starting from Billy. You talked about Jalen's execution on that fourth quarter throw. Was the thought to, to challenge Georgia deep, you know, on, on the first play and kind of hit them when maybe they weren't as focused? And then just what was your, I guess, conversation with Jalen heading into that drive? Well, we, we, Jalen and I have talked a lot. This isn't just this week. It's it's been since day one about never having regrets, and so competing till the very end, and and you know really that's what I want our team to do. But we talk about that a lot and staying positive and keep fighting. And then you know sometimes it doesn't bounce your way, uh, and doesn't mean you lose the game. But sometimes just a play doesn't end up the way that uh, you wanted. You got to keep fighting. Um, when it comes to the concept. Uh, a lot of our plays have opportunities where you can have one. You you find that one on one, and if you like the matchup, uh, you go after it. And so, uh, you know, he like he liked what he saw, obviously, and uh, delivered. And uh, you know, Ryan did the rest for him. But um, a lot of our concepts, you know, have 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 shots built in, uh, but also some other. Elements to the to the passing game where you know you're looking still to have a high completion percentage. And I think that's the one thing that jumped out at me. I don't know what 27 to 33 is. It's got to be 80 plus percent, you know. So um, that's what I love to see. You know, if we can be over 65, you know, uh, that's that's positive steps, and you know he's well above that. Last question. I'll be great tomorrow night. Hey, coach. At the beginning of the week, you mentioned that at least one doubter falls in line with the length mentality. After a win like tonight, do you feel like some of those doubters might have been silenced a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's that's some stuff internally, you know, that we just we know that uh, you have a matchup like this. There's going to be people that believe one thing or another, and you know, is this a mismatch this this position against that that position, uh, you know, and and uh, so you know that link is from the team aspect, but it's also you know uh, a position group or an individual. Uh, a side of the ball, and so you know, our guys I think do a great job of just uh, having that edge to them that comes along with that mentality. Uh, I'm proud of them uh, because they 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 understand that edge, but um, they keep the confidence, and uh, you know they 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 don't do it in an arrogant way. And uh, I appreciate uh, the way they come to work. That's what you can really see uh, that uh, translates to um, the opportunities and, and wins a win like we had tonight. Thank you, coach. Awesome. Thank you, real time.